guys, this is me, Michael, and I'm going over the Street Fighter Tournament Edition Arcade Stick one more time because I feel like I didn't cover everything. Alright, first of all, I want to point out that I didn't really get to point out in the last video, is this is really a lot looser than your average American joystick. This is why, like, a lot of Japanese gamers, when they hold their joystick, they like put it, hold it like a wine glass. They put their thumb here, and they move it all around. This is sensitive, so if you're thinking about buying it, it's gonna kind of feel like if you're used to American control, like joystick. It's kind of, it's gonna kind of feel like it's been used a lot or worn out. It's not broken because, as you see, it centers. It's just Japanese joysticks happen to be looser and a little bit shorter. Now, what's good about this is that um. All of these components are made out of Sanwa, I believe I'm saying that right, it's S-A-N-W-A, parts which you can order. You actually can build your own joystick now as far as it working on a PlayStation 3. I don't know what components you would need to build your own joystick from that. But this opens up and you can replace everything. So this stick, as long as that place is in business that's, that makes the parts and sells them, you're basically in business and they actually use these parts for the actual arcade machines even the Street Fighter 4 arcade machines but I've never seen one so I can't say that for a fact but I'm just going by the internet but this should feel exactly the same also these buttons are super sensitive because it's made for competitive gaming and stuff like that so you have to keep in mind that Sometimes you'll hit the buttons faster than the game can register them. So that's something else that you can keep in mind. But it's an awesome stick for the arcade. An arcade type of games. When I say arcade, I'm like referring to MAME and stuff like that. But um, I want to show you a little bit how it plays. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to use the game Street Super Street Fighter 4 as an example since this is a Street Fighter stick I'm absolutely terrible at this game even with this stick let's hook it up to the PlayStation so as you can see this uses like a standard USB plug so it'll plug into your computer and your PlayStation so if you need to see it plugged in Sorry, I'm moving the camera all around so I can't see. So, just put it here. Alright, so I'm going to try to film this without getting in the way. I usually don't sit this close to a TV screen, but you can see it kind of looks like a little arcade unit, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm going to try to talk loud because I know this camera has a shitty speaker. So really, when you want to control it, like I said, it's best to control it this way. If you want to control it like an American stick or like this, it's best to get the bat attachment, which you can get from a lot of arcade manufacturers, websites, or people who have arcade parts. But all these are made with, like, Sanwa parts, which is supposed to be the standard. I'm kind of, like, holding this weird because of the reach at. I'm kind of at a far angle so I can show you this. We'll first try Street Fighter. So, pretty much it functions just like the regular arcade stick. Keep in mind though, that when you play this, or when you actually use this, it's not compatible with anything that's analog. A, it doesn't have two analog sticks, or R3, or L3 button. And the stick itself is an analog. There's actually, if you don't know, like, what an arcade stick looks under, like, what it looks under the board, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. It, um, it basically is a bunch of switches. Like, when you move this stick, it touches a switch. You can also get a different kind of restrictor plate. This uses a square restrictor plate. But you can get one that's like an octagon too, which I'm actually thinking of getting because it's good for Street Fighter moves and stuff like that. So I'm going to skip all this shit. Yeah, it's super Street Fighter. Remember to start in the select button right here. That helps me. I'm not even looking at the camera. I hope that it caught it. If it didn't, you won't be seeing it. So it doesn't matter. I probably 
probably should lower this because my rambling is going to be hard to hear. So I'm going to start the game. trying to advertise an update kit that more than likely could already be installed on this disk now in Capcom. When I recorded the last video for Super Street Fighter, I did not use the stick out of convenience just because I didn't feel like pulling out of the box. I usually keep it in the box. Some people like him. I definitely recommend using this on a hard surface because this analog stick so not analog, this joystick so sensitive that um, basically if you use it in your lap, it's going to wobble and change angles, and you have to be really precise on where you use like push the stick because it's super sensitive. It's for pointing with players. So as you can see you can type the buttons in really fast. It also has turbo functions but I'm not turning them on. So yeah that's Street Fighter. The new Simpsons arcade. Playing the Simpsons arcade game, it really doesn't matter who I'm playing it. So, this game works with this. This game is actually really good for this because your hand really doesn't get tired pushing the buttons because the buttons have little tension on them. You don't have to push it that hard, even though it probably sounds like I'm knocking the shit out of it. So as close as I am to the screen, it pretty much has a realistic arcade feel. And now, I'm going to show you guys how to use it on a PC. I don't have a MAME currently hooked up to my computer. But I can show you how to use use this joystick for your computer. I'm just going to use some regular emulator, nothing special. So this is the plug right here. Just in case you don't believe me, it's hooked up to this. Because I know some people have been having trouble in it. I heard some chipsets like, I guess, AMD and whatnot don't always work. And there are solutions in forums. Alright, so we click on whatever program we want to use the stick on now that the drivers are installed. And then we go to options. Hopefully you can see this. I can't really show you the joystick and stuff at the same time. And then we're going to go to set config. We'll play a Genesis game. So you port one and define. And at the bottom it'll tell you what prompts to press, like up, down, left, right. So we're gonna go up and then it's gonna say down. You have to be really careful with this because it's sensitive. Down, left, right. And then it says button A, B, and C. And then you're going to go OK. Alright, so you can see it goes. I should have planned this out way better. 
so if you prefer to use an arcade stick with this, and it works with Mave. So, make sure you check if you have the compatibility with this. Like I said, this usually works with Intel chipsets, but there's a way around it. If it's not compatible with, with like your computer, you just have to basically look into what you need. And if you don't have any compatibility with it, like go to a forum online and you can probably find it there. I think there's compatibility through like USB hubs and stuff like that. It just depends on what kind of USB port. Now as far as the Xbox 360's compatibility goes with this stick, I'm not sure it might work better. But since the PlayStation kind of has like a standard USB port on it, it just depends on really your chipset. Um, so that's basically all I want to show you with this stick. Sorry, it was so, I don't, I don't know, like kind of terribly unprepared, but I just wanted to show you guys more of the stick that I didn't show you. I kind of felt like it was incomplete, and I was getting some questions on the stick, and hopefully this might have answered some of them. If I didn't answer any of your questions or showed you anything that you need to, like, like I said, check the internet. There's forums for people who talk about the stick and how to fix different things and stuff like that. And you just go to Google and look up the type of stick it is. And make sure you put PS3 on there and compatibility on be a few things. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.